Hi everyone, it's Andrew, it's the 21st of April, so it's Record Store Day. We're not really bothered about buying any Record Store Day releases, although there's one we wouldn't mind, but um, it's getting on, so we're not likely to get anything. Because um, it's very hard to get out very early when you've got a little peanut to, to sort out first. But we are going an, into Newport to look at some records because it's also the day of Newport's um, record and CD fair. They have it three times a year, spring, summer and winter. Today is the spring one, uh, so it coincides with Record Store Day as well. So we're just feeding Peanut. Or rather, Daddy is. Yes. Here she is. I don't know if you can see her. see me. Just about. Yes, yes. Um, and then we're going to take her down to my mum and dad's. It's a lovely sunny day, so we're going to walk and catch the bus in. This also means I can have a glass of wine with my lunch. <laughs> but I'm, but yeah. Of course, when I'm driving, I can't. And uh, we're going to have a quick look around all the records and see if we can find anything interesting to add to the collection. So I will show you what we are up to as and when we get up to it. See you soon. So we've just got off the bus and we're going to go and Cross. wait for the lights to change because we're sensible. Oh, we'll go anyway. It just means they're coming around that way. So last time we were in Newport we walked up Charles Street. This time we're going to walk down Charles Street. So this is Stowe Hill. So if you're a fan of the Mannix and you've got their album before, the, before this one? Yeah. There's a song on there called The View From Stowe Hill. There it is, The View From Stowe Hill. <laughs> Always makes me laugh, that one. That's a view up Stowe Hill. Right, so there it is, we're going in again. There's quite a few people in there today, not like last time. There was a few in there last time, but... Cafe with books? Usually I would say yes. Uh, but not today. Very busy in there. There's the posters. We're going in. So nothing left in there of any interest. There's still some Bowie though. I'm surprised that, that didn't all sell out quite quickly. Right, Sarin. No, and you, and you didn't want anything from the CDs, did you? No. But uh, we still got the CD and record fair to go. There's bound to be stuff in there, isn't there? I thought, <gasps> you cameras. So your germs are the same as her germs. Oh, we like cameras. Not focusing again, so it's much better. That's where we're going. So now we're at the bottom of Stowe Hill, and if you look up there, that's Stowe Hill. And apparently it's 145 miles to Downing Street. There you go. Anyway, onwards. So here we are, back in the market. That place has been their donkey's ears as well, exclusive jewellery. So as you know, down there's Trout Mark, which is where we usually go. Criminal Records looks a bit busy today, <laughs> which is good, but we're going upstairs, so, yeah, we got to find the stairs first, I can never remember where they are, oh, here they are, here we are, so, upstairs, that's where we normally go, in there, try out mark, right, we're going up here. So there will be music playing, so we'll have to talk over it. Here it is. So we just got to walk round to the entrance, which is always the other end of the market from where we come in for some reason. Look at all that lovely vinyl. <laughs> They got bands up here later. Oh, cool. yeah. There. 
So it's about to go and get in. It's gone up 50p. So you can see there's just lots and lots of bins of records. So we've got Metal Rock Prog, Psych Pop, including the Beatles, Stones and Bowie. Folk and Acid, there's Jazz. Females of all description. I'm going to start here. So I have bought quite a few records. A couple of LP, well three LPs and a load of singles. Um, some of the singles was really packed together in some of the stores. It was really hard to look at them. I was looking at the Elvis ones. You just could not see what they was because they are the ones that aren't in the picture sleeves. So it was really hard to do it. But we had a good look around at all the stores. I picked up some records. We're now going to go and have a look at criminal records downstairs and see what they've got there before we head off for some food. So we'll see you in a bit. So because it's record store day and it's very busy because the fairs aren't downstairs, they've even got an overflow from Criminal Records today and they've even got their own Criminal Records t-shirts I like that. Here comes Paul. They've even got a John Kennedy wall hanging ruggy thing. I don't know if you can see that in there. <laughs> so cool. And more records. So this is the overflow. So we're going to go into Trackmark now. We looked at criminal records and they just got so much stuff. You'd be there all day looking through it. Some of it's quite good, but my back's hurting and we're starting to get a little bit on the peckish side. So it's into Trackmark. I'm actually going to look at the books in here rather than anything else. So yeah, let's go and have a quick look around here. It does have some records in here, as you can see. We, we looked through these yes last week. I will have a quick look. Yeah. We're going for food? Oh, yes. What do you fancy? Uh, we not don't sure. know yet. <laughs> so, we didn't buy anything in Trapmark or Criminal Records, but they are always there so we can always come back another time. So, we had a great look up at the, um, the record fair. It was great. It's nice to see lots of vinyl. I, like I said, I bought quite a bit. It's one of the ones I was actually looking for, or one of the artists I was actually looking for, which is great. So we're going to go and find some food now. So we've come into Nando's. We're going to go around, it's a bit cold, and we've come into Nando's. This Nando's is lovely, look at it. I don't know what you're seeing, because I'm not looking at it, but it's really pretty. It's a last light thing. So Paul's gone up to order, we'll have some this, because, you know, We took the bus today is so I can have a drink. I'm always driving. I never get to have an alcoholic drink because well, I'm always driving. So today I'm drinking Benson Eccentric English Cider with raspberry and lime. And I'm going to show it to you if I can get it in front of the lens. There we are. Yum, yum, yum. I got carried away with eating and I didn't show you what we both had. Paul had this amazing burgery thing, which is, as you can see, he's demolished. And I had um, double chicken in pizza. Medium peri peri. So we're at the bus station now looking for our bus. Because we never catch the bus normally. Let's uh, walk up the front where the digital stuff is. Uh, there's a 56. It's due at Quarto. Oh, we've got here a bus sitting here. Let's get. I used to go in that bookshop. Yeah, like I say, I should be on there. It's ten. Yeah, it's usually. It's not that bad. It's better now we've got prize walk and that. Yeah, there is a castle. You can't see it from here though because it's over there. There's not a lot of it there. Yeah. So there's the travel lodge. That used to be a similar lodge. You've got travel lodge? get a wide angled lens again. And here there is the front of the travel lodge. You can see that it was a cinema. You'll see as we go past now. This has got the front thing. 
guess one of the Harry Potter movies in there. Asian Fusion Buffet, that's been very many buffets over the years. Until next time you put. So like I said, the next record fair is on August the 4th. Uh, Saturday August the 4th and the next one after that is Friday the 29th of December if you're in what area you should pop in. It starts at 10 a.m. and it's at the Provisions Market, the upstairs uh, exhibition gallery. And we're back uh, behind on the, the parallel road to Stowe Hill, so we'll be going up onto Stowe Hill again in a minute. So the Night Lodge used to be a nightclub, I believe. I believe that was Brooklyn Heights back in the day when I used to go club in there. Or the Heights, it then became what it was, the Heights and it became Brooklyn Heights, I'm not actually sure. Back in sunny Risca, the sky is beautiful here again now, look. The sky is blue. And a bit of clouds, not too bad is it? It's not too shabby. Not too shabby indeed. Not too shabby at all. And it's still blinking hot, but I can't wait to see my peanut and have a cup of tea. Hi, she has not. No, she has How's my little peanut? She has most of her food, but not all. Oh, of she it. does that. She has a nappy change. Good. She's learned how to pull my hair with her feet. With her feet? You are a clever girl. Mm. Are you smiling for mummy? Are and you smiling for mummy? Punch and kick with the best of them. I know, I know she can. She was punching your dad and she was kicking me. Hi, Peanut. Where's she been as good as gold? You're a good girl. <laughs> Hi, so we're back now from the record store. I can't say it, from the record fair in Newport, and of course it is record store day. It's also in the UK National Tea Day, so cheers. So Paul bought some CDs, um, so I'm going to show you those because this is for our CD collection. He bought a band called The Only Ones and it's the best of The Only Ones. I've never heard of them. They're Retro Punk New Wave. Apparently they're Retro Punk New Wave. You might have heard Paul, he's actually holding the camera. I've heard of the rest of the band, so we're alright. So we've got Radiohead Pablo Honey. Yes. And, and why did you buy that one? Uh, it's the first album, it's where they started. Okay. And Pulp Hit, so I presume that's Pulp's Greatest Hits. It is basically Greatest Hits oh, yeah, compilation, but it's got quite a yeah. wide variety of stuff. There's quite a lot on there actually. Yeah. We've got The Very Best of the Doors, which is two CDs. That's a two CD version with loads and loads of songs on. And we've got The Best of Van Morrison. Another Best of. Because it's got Brown Eyed Girl on it. Well, he's done some good songs with Morrison. He has done some good songs. Um, Manic Street Creatures, Send Away the Tigers. We're not sure whether we've got this or not. We don't think so. But I'm hoping I haven't already got that because I've definitely heard it, but <laughs> I'm hoping it's not in my collection. If not, we might send it off to somebody in the vinyl community with a, as a bit of VCLT. You yes. never know. And Lennon Legend, the very best of John Le Lennon, because you can't have enough of John Lennon in your house, can yeah, you? Yeah, I've got a best of John Lennon, but it hasn't got working class hero on, which, which is bizarre. Has, which, yeah, you'd think it would have. Yeah. So, so on to my purchases, which is the vinyl. We're not going to show you the boring stuff we bought, which is like a frying pan and tongs and no. spatter and a photo frame. So I bought some vinyl. I bought, now these have got the prices on them, but the guy I got them from gave me a discount, so it doesn't really matter. So I've got the seven, some seven inch singles. The first one I got is French Kissing in the USA by Debbie Harry. Like a bit of French Kissing. I love that single. In the USA. <laughs> I got To Pow Heart and Soul. I did get China in, in Your Hand back when it was actually released but I never picked up Heart and Soul. Never heard of it. My favourite band, one of them anyway, The Pet Shop Boys. This is the original Opportunities from 1986 I think it is. I'm not sure. Yeah, 1986. Yay! And then I picked up two Madonna singles, um, Angel and True Blue, which is one of my favourite songs. I love True Blue. On to the LPs. Now, I haven't actually checked the condition of these, so I will report back afterwards. I'm going to clean them and then play them and see what's happening. So the first LP I picked up was actually something, I, uh, an artist I learned of, actually on the vinyl community, watching videos. And although there's no picture of the artist on it, it's the golden era of rock and roll, and it's Wanda Jackson. So it's got that Let's Have a Party on it. I'm really looking forward to that. 
Oh dear, the baby's squeaking in the corner like a little mouse. Um, I picked up a Cher LP. It's just Cher. This is from the 1980s. It's, the, it's got on it, um, I finally found someone, or I found someone, or whatever it's called. So again, like I said, I will be cleaning these before I play them. And now I've actually got on CD, but I wanted it on vinyl, and that is OMD's Sugar Tax. I love every track on this album. My favourite, obviously, is Pandora's Box, which is with the first single from it. Sugar Tax Tour 1990 when OMD played Newport Centre. First concert I ever went to. So those are the records and CDs we picked up today at Newport's Record Fair. We didn't get anything at Record Shop Day because by the time we had got down there there wasn't much left. But that's the problem with having a three month old baby. You don't really want to be getting her up at 3am in the morning to be going down to queue. So that's everything from our Record Day purchases. I hope you've had a good Record Day yourself and bought everything you wanted if you were able to get there earlier than I could. And I will see you all soon with another video. So uh, see you all soon. Bye.